when must a supplier revise an MSDS under WIMIS? Welcome to another installment of NextReg on Compliance. My name is Mike Moffat. I'm the Director of Communications here at NextReg. Today we have a very nice straightforward question. It's according to Canadian regulations, when do I need to update my MSDS? Now this is set out in the Controlled Products Regulations, Section 29. There are, it's the, the section 29 specifies two different times where you have to update an MSDS. There's also another time that's not in the regulations and I'll get to that one first. The one that's not in the regulations but kind of an obvious one is if the formulation of your product changes. So if you change, uh, you add an ingredient, take an ingredient away, change the mixture, that sort of thing, probably update your MSDS. Okay, so the first point that's actually in the regulations is if new information is known by the manufacturer about the product. This new information can fall into one of two categories. First of all, it could be new product level information. So you've done some new testing and found out that the pH is a bit different than what you previously thought it was. Um, you have new data on viscosity or flammability or that kind of thing. You're going to need to update your MSDS. The second area where you may have new information is at the component level. So suppose your mixture uses D-limonene and you've discovered new information about D-limonene. Then you're going to need to update your MSDS. The second time that's in the regulations is if the preparation date on your MSDS is over three years ago. That is, has your MSDS expired? Under the Canadian regulations, uh, MSDSs expire every three years and require updating. So. You know, if you've written your MSDS in September 2007, you need to update it again in September 2010, so it uh, meets with Canadian regulations. Okay, so suppose you've decided, okay, I need to update my MSDS. What do I need to do? So I have this little to-do here. The first thing you need to do is go through your MSDS and your WIMIS label, review the information on that MSDS and label, and revise anything as necessary. So revise the pH, revise the viscosity, you know, whatever new information you have. And you know, that may end up changing the classification on your MSDS or changing your disposal instructions or your P required PPE, that kind of thing. So go ahead and make those changes to the MSDS. And if necessary, make the changes to your WIMIS label as well. Secondly, you're going to need to revise the preparation date. So anytime you make a change to your MSDS, you should be uh, revising your date of preparation. This third item isn't required, but I would call it a best practice, is to update the version number on your MSDS. So ideally, your MSDS should have a version number, like 1.0, 1.1, or so on. If you make a change to that, you should create a uh, higher version number to, to indicate that this is a newer version. Again, this isn't required under the CPR, but um, it, is in, it is in the ANSI guidelines. So if you're following the ANSI guidelines, this is something you'll want to do. Next, any sort of, once you've updated your MSDS and possibly updated your women's label as well, you're going to want to send that out on future shipments, either to new clients or shipping those goods to existing clients. So if you sell, if you have a, a client who's continually buying your product, you update your MSDS, then the next time you make a shipment, make sure to include the updated MSDS. So this sort of brings up a follow-up question. Well, what if I have clients who have purchased from me in the past, what should I do? Well, I would indicate that a best practice is to send the updated MSDS to existing customers as well. Because you don't know who's going to buy from you, who's going to not, but you know, it's just good customer service to, when possible, uh, ensure that your existing customers have the most up-to-date information. This is, not, uh, this is not required, and as well, you know, this isn't really realistic in a, in a retail situation where people are just buying stuff off the shelf. But, you know, if you're a company, you have a few hundred clients who buy or customers who buy from you regularly, um, I, I, don't th I don't think it's asking too much to be able to, you know, send that to them, you know, post a new version on your website, that sort of thing. So everybody has access to it. But under, under the CPR, you're not required to um, ship this out to existing clients until they've uh, purchase from you again. But what you are required to do under the CPR is notify existing customers 
and existing customers being anybody who's purchased from you in the last 12 months and not retail, again, for the reasons we described earlier, but you're supposed to notify existing customers of the last 12 months of significant new hazard info. So you don't, you know, if not a whole lot's changed on your MSCS, you don't have to notify the existing customers again until they purchase again, in which case you send them the new MSDS. But if something really big changes, like suppose you, you learn new data at the product level suggesting that this product which you thought was non-flammable is in fact flammable. Then under the CPR you are required to notify them uh, of this change of the classification. But otherwise there's no, again, there's no requirement to send existing clients uh, who haven't made subsequent purchases uh, the new MSDS. So I hope you find this video helpful. Uh, the questions we choose for this video series are based solely on emails from our clients and other viewers. So if you have any questions you'd like answered in this series, please send me an email to info, info at nextreg.com. Take care. This presentation and all the information contained herein is not intended to replace or be used in place of the judgment of a qualified regulatory compliance professional. Regulations and interpretations of regulations can change rapidly, so please consult a qualified regulatory compliance professional before starting any project.